Have you ever wanted to transfer or merge phone data from two different devices without the need to factory reset the settings of the phone before transferring the data? Or maybe you're just looking for an easy and convenient way to transfer your data from an old phone to a new phone without the need for a computer? Well, in that case, you're going to find Wondershare's Mobile Trans app really useful. Mobile Trans is known as the best app for phone transfer and data transfer, allowing for wireless transmissions of up to 10 types of mobile data between phones. You can even merge WhatsApp data from an old device to a new device and Wondershare's Mobile Trans supports over 6,000 different mobile devices. This is how you can use Mobile Trans to be able to transfer your various data such as photos, videos, your apps, your contacts and so on from an Android device to an iOS device. This is a simple demo. The first step is to download the Mobile Trans app on both devices. If you are on Android, it's going to be found on the Google Play Store and if you're on iOS it's going to be found on the App Store. I will also leave links in the description of this video that will take you to the relative App Store pages. Once you've downloaded and installed the application the next thing you want to do is run the application or click where it says open and it will open up like this and on our other device if we click open just like this you can see how they open up. We can do phone to phone transfer iCloud to Android transfer and WhatsApp transfer. If we want to copy text messages, music, photos, videos, and more data to your new phone with one click, then we select this one. And then here it pops up an option that will select the direction of transfer, Android to Android, Android to iPhone, or iPhone to Android. Now, this is my Android device and I'm going to be transferring my photos and data to my iOS device. So we select the option that says Android to iPhone, select it right here. What kind of data would you like to transfer? So you can choose basic data, which is photos, videos, music, contacts, apps, and so on. Or if you want to transfer other data, such as text messages and call logs, you can select that. So I'll just select the basic data right there. And you can see it opens up this page. And right here, we can select everything such as our photos, videos, music, documents, contacts, apps, and even calendar events. If you don't want to transfer all the photos, videos, music, and so on, you can deselect this and then go to the relative folder that you want to manually select what you want to transfer. So for example, in photos, if I go to where it says camera, and then maybe I'll select this exit sign, this compressor, and maybe this mirror room and this one, and then, it to show me the number of items I've selected in, in the camera is four. If I want to add some videos, for example, I can go in the camera right there and then I'll select this video. Maybe this one is more and maybe we'll select uh, this video as well. And now if I go back, it will show me that, hey, I have four photos selected out of that. And this is my photo size as well as the number of videos and their relative size. And now if I click next, just like this, it creates this QR code. So now if I take my iOS device and bring it closer. I'll select the same option phone to phone transfer and then select a transfer direction and it will be Android to iOS. So I'll select Android to iOS, scan the QR code. And if we align the two just like this, it wants to join the network. So I'll click accept and you can see it's connecting. Boom. Now the next screen here says connecting to the phone and give it a few seconds. You can see now it's beginning to transfer the data. This is actually pretty quick. You can see how fast the data is transferring from my Android device to my iOS device. Just like that, it's complete. And you can see sent successfully and received successfully. I didn't have any videos or photos. You saw that pop up screen. And now you can see some of my videos that are transferred right there, such as the model, they are right there. And some of the photos that I transferred of this other stuff, you can see they've transferred successfully. Another feature of mobile trans is WhatsApp transfer. So when you open up Wondershare mobile trans right here, you can see WhatsApp transfer. When you select this option, you have the ability to choose regular WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. So for me, I'll select WhatsApp business and whether you wanna transfer your WhatsApp from an Android to iPhone or from iPhone to Android, I'll select Android to iPhone just like this. I'll click OK just like this. I'll verify my phone number and click next. And I'll verify that this number is the one that's used for WhatsApp and click OK just like this. And 
now sms verification code has been sent to this number so on this page what you want to do is select the type of data that you want to transfer so text photos audios videos files emojis locations that you might have shared gif and voice memos and once you've selected everything that you want click next just like this and now this next screen gives you two options to complete the whatsapp transfer you can use with usb cable or you can use no usb cable where you can complete the transfer using a desktop toolkit or laptop toolkit i'll quickly click this section right here it gives you method number one which is with the usb c to lightning cable or USB-C charger cable and another one is method number two which is with an OTP cable so I'll quickly go to this one which is USB-C to lightning cable and if you have an iPhone that has lightning then this is the cable that you're going to need lightning is this end and USB-C is on this end so I'll quickly connect the USB-C end into the android device just like this and then i'll bring my iphone that i want to transfer the data to and connect the lightning end of it just like this and boom the iphone is connected it's unlocked and you can see here there's a pop-up screen that says allow mobile trans to access iphone i'll say okay and now on the iphone there's a pop-up screen that says do you want to trust this computer even though it's a phone it says computer but i'll click accept it also tells you a couple of steps to follow before the transmission on the whatsapp cable so i'll select here choose an app for this connection and say uh, usb i'll select mobi trans and click continue and then here i'll click start transfer please confirm whether whatsapp is installed on the iphone and logged in and then i'll click here where it says confirm right now and now it says transferring data and right here on iPhone, there's a screen that says restore in progress, just as an FYI. And then now it says transfer succeeded. The following page now appears on the iPhone. Please tap skip restore. And you can see my iPhone just restarted right now as well. I'll quickly just bring my iPhone device close by and I can go ahead and unplug this cable. And now if I turn over my screen, you can see my WhatsApp charts have been brought over, which is something that's good. It's a pretty simple and straightforward method to transfer your WhatsApp data from one device to another. On mobile trans, I really like the fact that if you have other files such as zipped files or larger files that are in sizes that are like gigabits, you can actually be able to do that and go into your various downloads and zipped folders and be able to select those and transfer them from one device to another as well and at the same time if you want to transfer data from iCloud to Android you have the ability to do that and if you want iCloud to phone or connect to PC as another option you also have the ability to do that after testing I can confirm that mobile trans works seamlessly when transferring all kinds of data and it works with multiple devices now you don't have to worry about losing data or having to erase or factory reset your phone in order to transfer data from one device to another if you want to try wondershare's mobile trans for yourself i'll be happy to let you know that they are currently running a black friday promotion offering 50 percent off for a limited time feel free to check it out and give it a try for yourself i'll leave links in the description of this video that can help you with that